Some people would do anything to become a professional footballer. Gregory Alkaroid tricked Europe's elite, including one Champions League team, to give him a chance by sending them a fake CV. But to understand more around this story, we have to go back, back to when he was a child. But before we do get into this video, please make sure you smash that like button. Thank you so much. But at 10 years old, the Frenchman was like any other boy with a dream. The only problem was, he was terrible at football. His own father thought he was so bad that he banned him from playing the beautiful game just out of pure embarrassment. What? When I was 10, my dad come to see me playing for the first time in his life. And after the game, my dad, he say, you are so bad in football. I don't want you to play any more football in your life. The young Alkaroid though, he wasn't going to give up. He went on to trick Norwich, Bournemouth and Swindon into offering him a trial and even received an offer to play for a European football club at CSKA Sofia, all by just creating a fake website which he claimed he was an up and coming star. Where he claimed he was a professional player for the PSG reserves. He would copy and paste match reports from El Quipe newspaper and took out the name of the star striker and replaced it with his own. The information wasn't a complete lie. Alkaroid was playing for PSG, but for the club's fifth team in the bottom tier of the French amateur league. I watch, uh television and they say that they are looking for players for the amateur club of Paris Saint-Germain because there is Paris Saint-Germain top team with Neymar, Messi, reserve team, 30, 40 and 50. The 50 we train like one time a week. At this point Alkaroid had been cut off by his affluent family for choosing football over a proper education and career. At 19 the Frenchman whose grandmother inherited a small fortune from the Oscar-winning actor Maurice Chevalier after a 15-year marriage, was now working at McDonald's and living in a small studio flat in France. His website and CV were then sent to some of the biggest clubs in England. Chelsea, Manchester City and Arsenal even turned him down, replying, It's strange that you have not gone through the proper channels and you have contacted us directly. But the second tier side Swindon Town gave him a shot. It was one of two occasions where the player trialled with the Robins. On the first day of his trial, he was so unfit physically, he was completely lost. Denied. The Frenchman obviously wasn't selected for a second day trial. But professional clubs in Luxembourg offered Alkaroid a contract, but the Frenchman turned them down. The contract was too small for him, he says. Nope. But finally, the right offer came. In the summer of 2009, when Alkaroid was asked to train with the Bulgarian side and giants, CSKA Sofia, the biggest club in Bulgaria. had just qualified for the almighty Champions League. Convinced he was a PSG reserve team player, CSKA offered him a three year contract worth 15,000 a month. Finally, inner peace. No and then. No and then. No and then. But this is where it started to take a turn. Just as he finished his two-day trial with the team, and they offered him the contract to sign, the Bulgarian fans decided to take matters into their own hands. A CSKA Sofia fan jumped onto an online forum and wanted to find out more about this Greg Alkaroid. He posted online, we're about to sign this guy. What do you think of him? Aiming it at the PSG supporters. All the PSG fans didn't have a clue. They didn't know who this guy was. They knew their squads in and out. So they replied, he's a fake. They even checked his website. They noticed that some of the information was true, but 90% of it was pure fiction. The CSK A fan was astonished. He contacted every journalist in Sofia and it was revealed to the club that they were gonna sign a fake player. When Alkaroid came down for breakfast, 
on Monday morning, the start of the week, the start of his new career. You could tell that none of his teammates, who all knew about this new information, wanted him at the club anymore, and he was asked to leave back to France before he finally retired with a terrible reputation and hardly any minutes on the pitch. Now this story does have a bit of a better ending. Alcroyd now has a full-time career in football, just not the one he planned. The Frenchman now acts as an agent for young players trying to get into football academies. The 40-year-old has also written an autobiography titled pro at all costs detailing his bizarre story into football and giving advice to young players trying to get into the game too his book was released in 2021 translated to the pro at all costs it's a fantastic reading you should check it out this is the story of the mcdonald's worker that almost ended up playing in the champions league through a fake cv 